Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, everybody. It's After Hours. It's not really a show. It's just kind of sort of a show, and we have no special guest. It's just me and Mr. Chaos and my hard hat. Hello. So, uh, hey, Mike, did you have anything to talk about? Uh, yeah, uh, I put out <laughs> wine and cheese for the folks, so I hope everybody got some. We had a um, a nice uh, port washed um, goat cheese uh, over here on the right, and then we have a a nice uh, manchego uh, a sheep cheese, really one of our favorites over here on the left. A little baguette for you all, and uh, tonight we're drinking the Willamette Valley Vineyards. Uh, a full cluster fermented Pinot Noir 2007. So can you tell us what you're wearing tonight? I could, but then I'd have to hurt you. <laughs> well, I'm talking about your headwear there. I know. I'm wearing my Vidu Pard hat, which doesn't belong to me anymore. I gave it to my kid, but then I had to take it back to photograph myself in it. And then, you know, she fell asleep, so I stole it again so I could wear it for all of you. But I'm about to take it off again. Because I don't think that um, hard hats are meant to be worn with uh, headphones at all. I'm having to hold these up. It's very sad. Although I don't know why I need my headphones. I'm not listening to anybody. Hmm. Maybe if I just... Ooh. Look at that. I can take my headphones off. Actually, I much prefer it without the hard hat. Yeah? Mm. I think so. There we go. Okay. It can sit on the couch. It can be our little secret unofficial hard hat. So let me, uh, since no one's actually, you know, drinking the wine or anything, I'll I'll just go ahead and and work on that myself. Yeah, I hope everybody brought their own drinks because it'd be hard to get the wine to them over the video camera. Um, No, no, Bram, I would not want falling plaster. It wouldn't be awesome because we've had to do enough renovation in this house. (laughs) <laughs> without falling plaster on my head. So the other thing is, if you have Skype, we have the Skype cast, Strange Love Live, all one word. If you go search for Skype casts and look for Strange Love Live, um, you can call in and we can actually have some guests. This is very weird. We've, we have never done a podcast together, I don't think. Oh, we did the the very first podcast we did the Christmas oh, song. He's referring to the one where he tricked me into having a podcast that I didn't know I was going to have. Right. Yeah, I didn't have a podcast. Merry Christmas. And, and then for Christmas, he tricked me into having a podcast. And that's how you guys all got strange love. Anyway, so uh, what's interesting is last time we did the Skype cast, we had people calling from Bolivia and Brazil. And it was very interesting. I mean, People just jumped on the Skype cast like crazy right now. Uh, we have no one. Well, that's good, though, because I don't speak Spanish or Portuguese. That's right. And we don't have Martin. That's right. Take him anywhere. <laughs> Who's the host? Of this show? Yeah. Not you. Exactly. So talk. I, uh, You're my guest this evening. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, now we're in trouble. All right. Let's listen to music for her. Tell us a a story, Mr. Chaos. I have nothing. I really have nothing. Um, What's going on? There's nothing. Mm -hmm. I had a really long and boring day while everyone else was hanging out and having a good time. Uh, Twitter's back up. That's good, right? We like that, I think. So you're equating... What I did today with having a good time? No, I'm, I'm thinking about what other people on Twitter were doing today. Like going to lunch and that sort of thing. I didn't... Oh, other pe- people on Twitter. What what he's saying is that he's... Yeah. Jealous. God, this is the most... I just asked the podcast. chat room. I just asked the chat room to give us something to talk about. Exactly. Someone drunk dial us, please. Well, we'll be here with you all night long, kids. <laughs> I know it's the long road, and you're probably on a long drive right now between 
uh, Tulsa and uh, and uh, uh, Houston. And uh, so I'll be with you all night long on the lonely road. This is Chaos Radio. What the hell are we doing? Um, you were doing a very interesting impression of a late night radio show host. Yep. That late night radio, you can't be like that late night if you're keeping people awake because you're they're going to fall asleep behind the wheel of the big rig and have a huge accident. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, Worst apparently we're only interesting. Ever. <laughs> apparently we're only interesting when we have guests. That's usually how it works, right? Because we have something to uh, talk about. And um, right now uh, we have nothing to talk about. Fab Girl brings up a good point. We're way too sober for her. Now, if it doesn't get interesting, I told you, you got to take your top off. No, you didn't. If it, How about this? If it's not interesting, you can take your top off. No. No one wants to see that. <clears throat> okay. Um, hmm. This is not exciting. This isn't going well. This, this, this is kind of sad. Oh, Nate Angel will be on the podcast next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> week been... a week from tonight, Nate Angel will be on the show, and if he is not way more entertaining we're than we are, we're gonna off kick his show. ass. You're out of here, Nate. You better bring the plastic drink monkeys. You bring it and some personality, and you baby. Bring it. You bring it to the show. Um. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, good then. Yeah. The oh, we watched Torchwood last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. The first episode of the first. This season. is my nightmare. <laughs> you're in radio hell and you're not even on the radio i mean i actually thought Whoa, uh, uh, after uh. god what have we done like 13 14 yeah 15? bram has a good point quick play some music oh here's a call hello here's a call ow hello oh. welcome to hello. Skype for testing welcome service. to our podcast after the beep please record a message oh. afterwards your you... message will be played back to you it's so great you called from the uk Hey, welcome to Strange Love Live. How are you? <laughs> this you is our Skype test thing mess. Often? <laughs> that's that's just sad, honey. I- I'm sad. So now. great you called from the UK. Hey, welcome to Strange Love Live. How are you? <laughs> this you is our Skype test thing mess. Often? <laughs> that's that's just sad, honey. If you are able to hear your own voice, oh, I then could. you have configured <laughs> Skype correctly. <laughs> If you hear this message, what is but your not name? your own voice, Tell then something is wrong with your audio <laughs> recording settings. You sound like you're reading Please from Please check script. your microphone and microphone settings or visit Skype.com for more help. But Thank I you am for using Skype. Skype call what's testing your name? service. Wait. Goodbye. Wait, what's your name? She sounded kind of like Joe. Oh, yeah, she did. All right, well, that was interesting. No, it wasn't. It was sad. It was really sad. That was... That, that was the equivalent of like when you walk see the homeless people walking downtown speaking to themselves right so if you just load up skype and just keep calling the 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 test call you know you can just Hmm. talk to it that's like and she has a british accent we we love that here at strange love it kind of reminds me of when i was working as not as a telemarketer but basically as a telemarketer and primarily people would just want to hang up on you and then you'd get the really lonely person who would do everything they could to keep you on the phone as long as possible because they were really lonely and they craved contact of some kind. All right, so in the news today, uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Whoa! I think we have a caller. Hooray for somebody! Are you going to push a button? I am. Hello, you're on Strange hello. Love. Hey, hello. Hi, Steve. Hi. I, I just got to mute the audio here because it's delayed, then I'm going to get really confused. Oh, it's really, really, really delayed. Yeah, so that, that just sounded a bit too weird. So <laughs> so I was going to um, talk about space, I think, or my hangover. I don't know which one you want me to talk about. You could talk about hangovers in space. Um, hangovers in space. I don't think it's advisable. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you? Co- you're calling from the UK, right? No, no, I'm in. I'm in the Netherlands. 
Oh, okay. Well, it says UK here, so I don't know what the hell's up with that, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, we must be bouncing off the UK or something. You sound sounds great. Yeah, everybody we call over in Europe sounds fantastic. So I mean, oh, thank you very much. We we per, yeah exactly. <laughs> and I'm not complimenting the accent either, but you know we dig that too. Because you know? we're Americans, we love the way you guys talk over there. You know. Yeah, I know. God. You guys are so smart. <laughs> that was almost an Elvis-like uh, accent there. I'm thing. sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. Oh, oh, so anyway, I'll, I'll start with the story about um, the rocket scientists I met. Very good. Awesome. So, um, so I have a neighbor, Peter, and he works out at STEC, which is the local European Space Center. And um, and one day I bumped but, into him let, with let a bunch, bunch of friends. Let me just stop you there. Can I stop you there? Yeah. So when yeah. you say European Space Center, you know, when I think of space, I think of NASA, I think of the Vertical Assembly Building. So what, you guys got like a, a couple bottle rockets there and you're like... Oh, you know, while he insults you, I'm going to run upstairs <laughs> and make myself another drink. Uh, Where is the European uh, Space Center? Where is it it's, located? It's in just outside of Leiden. It's about um, or oh, about half an hour from Amsterdam. It's not, it's not that far. It's on really? The coast. Yeah. And that's the ESA? Yeah. Really? Mm. Wow. Okay. Well, they're all over the place. So they're, sort of, they're distributed oh, around. Oh, I see. Because okay. so it depends. Yeah, I know. It depends how much money uh, each European uh, country donates to you know the European sort of space agency. And, and these um, guys, you guys have... Did you, do you, is, has your module been launched on the uh, International Space Station yet? Is it, is it up there now? Mine, well, I've, yeah, yours. Yeah, there, there is a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made it. You know? yeah, exactly, <laughs> a little paper mache and uh, a little paint, and yeah, I'm ready. Can we launch? <laughs> yeah. No, the yeah, so, and, you have a module. The ESA, the Europe. I, I can't remember if they got it up there. You know, we've had these problems with you know this thing called the space shuttle. Maybe you've heard of it. Um, <laughs> you know, we're a little delayed in that international space station. <laughs> business and yeah i know i'm well i'm not really involved because i've joined a, a private team and we're going to join the possibly join the this google lunar x prize oh cool really yeah oh wow oh i, I should say hello to media chick hi media chick hi bram so um so yeah i was walking down the road and i bumped into my neighbor and he had some people with him and they turned out to be uh, rocket scientists yeah and uh, so I started talking to them, and, and they said, "Hey, do you want to join our group? We're we're going to put a a, a rover on the moon." That's going, yeah, of course. You know, <laughs> we're going to have a meeting. We go like, "What time's the meeting?" It's like, "Well, eight o'clock." You know, over at Peter's place, which is just downstairs from me. So I went along, and it was kind of interesting. So, so I've been to quite a few meetings now, and sort of like yesterday, I went out to to tour the space facility and have a look around. I put some pictures on my Flickr as well. It's quite quite funny to be out there looking at all these thruster testing facilities and clean rooms and and there was a, the hubris satellite was out there as well so it was really cool so so believe it or not i've actually seen those pictures i actually for some reason it was like uh, i went up to your twitter account and went to your website okay or maybe you twittered maybe you twittered the the link he, he's a crazy crazy <laughs> and i actually doctor. looked at you know and it's like oh yeah you know this is rocket scientists we're getting together we're working on a project and i saw a bunch of people in a living room drinking beer yeah oh yeah yeah that one yeah <laughs> that's on the on a, a tumbler yeah and um, but then on uh, on Flickr, i put some some uh, some other photos from the uh, from the space center it, it, just, was, it, it was cool it looked very fun you know looked like uh, a lot of people sitting around drinking beer <laughs> yeah i know it was well you've got to talk about things so you've got to start somewhere you know and you, you don't just uh, yeah yeah you need the beer you just don't don't say i'm going to put a rover on the moon and then you know you then you go and do it no you, know you I mean? need you, beer before you can put minute, the rover up there whoa, 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 whoa. that's how it works in japanese movies <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean these are very motivated people. No beer drinking. It's like we will put the rover on the moon, you know. Yeah, no, I know. But it's um, and oh, it's just very interesting to go and I've been to an engineering engineering meeting now, and it's um, it's it's all done with Excel sheets. I couldn't believe it. You know? Oh wow! Like, so that we're going to put 
the whole thing together with Excel spreadsheets. It's all mathematics and physics, basically. So. My goodness. Wow. I can make, a, the, I can the, make a mean graph in Excel. I really can. <laughs> yeah. I can make and lists that, I, and and yeah. uh, and party invitation check off <laughs> sheets. You know that that is actually surprising that's one of the tabs on his excel spreadsheet they've got like you know propulsion uh you know the the, the stress to the lander and oh we make party yeah. <laughs> oh it's everyone's saying hi again so i better say hi hi bram hi media chick and what am i sounding like a lawnmower or what's going on over there do you have birds yes yeah we do i do what kind of birds do you have I don't know, small ones, annoying ones that are up on the on the roof. I'm in the. Oh, okay. You know, I, I asked. I was. I, I was asking if you kept birds. <laughs> no, no. They okay. they um, they just live above me. I'm. You know what the Dutch houses look like? They're very very thin. Mm-hmm. I'm in the up in the at, in the attic, so I'm sat in this sort of. It's all wooden beams, basically, and sort of a very very high, pointy roof. And then there's birds up there making noises. So. There's this bird that lives outside of our house, and it only sings if I'm trying to take a nap. And I hate that freaking bird. Because if it would only <laughs> sing when I wasn't sleeping, I would love it. Because it is such a beautiful little, you know, twerpy little bird, chirp, chirp. But every time I try to take a nap, that bird decides it's time to wake me up. Yeah, I know. They, they do that all the time. So. so it looks like everyone wants to talk about thrusters all of a sudden. Thrusters are cool. Did yeah, I know. That's the f- first thing I asked the rocket scientists. What about the thrusters? It's <laughs> <laughs> a hell of a, uh, um, you know, a, an opening line, mm-hmm. shall we say? You know? <laughs> hey, how about the thrusters? You know? <laughs> oh God, yeah, the giant vibrator. That's yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have one. I mean, on on Flickr, you can see the giant vibrator. It's it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> really? This is actually yeah. in, the, in the test in the space center, right? It, the... Yeah, it's in it's in a big clean room, and it's um, oh god, it's it's not. The I hope it's in a clean room. I was going to say, Jeez. well, it's not going to stay clean <laughs> for that long. It's a while, giant okay? vibrator. It's not going to stay <laughs> that way. Yeah. Well, oh. they're going to they were going to put the uh, Hubris satellite on top of it. So and um, <laughs> really to Excuse me. yeah no it's to simulate taking off and landing or sort of like t- taking off at least. That, <laughs> is that, you, the the Hubble or Hubris? It's called. Oh, the Hub Hubris. Now, which one is that? The the um... it's well, it's it's a new one because it's yeah. sat there in the workshop at the moment, so it hasn't gone anywhere. So, what's that going to do? I, I got no idea at all. It's going to L one, oh. which which is um, twice the distance from. Well, that's the, a uh, perfect orbit, moment. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I was I was talking to all the the space scientists, and they they come out with all these this terminology like they're talking about Leo all the time, which is lower right. lower Earth Earth orbit, and right. then L one. And so now I've I've got to go and learn all these these three letter acronyms. Otherwise, I can't talk to them because you know they don't speak normal language. It's just you know. so. Did you just join up with these guys? I mean, it was yeah. just like you know, have a beer with us, and you said, hey, how about those thrusters? And he said, hey. Let's have a go. Why don't you just join up? Look at our clean yeah, room. We've a, got a giant vibrator here. Can you make it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, yeah. Going to the Netherlands, Cammy, to join up the space program. <laughs> that would be a lot easier to get up there they uh, that keyboards way. keyboards at the space program, like a little music in the background, you know, some conga drums or something, you know? Yeah, well, well it's basically, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing like the PR and the fundraising oh, part of the business case, uh, media rights. I mean, but they're talking large sums. We need about $100 million in the next four years. Okay. So it's not... Anybody okay, in the so- chat room have $100 million? <laughs> because uh, Steve knows yeah, someone that needs it. You know what? That's, that's, I don't need it myself personally, but he knows someone that you does. Know, you, you get it. That's, that's chump change in this world, in, in, yeah. in, the, in the rocket science world. I mean, that's, that's the, you know, with Europe and all the... That's easy to get. Hundred millions. Of yeah. No, actually, it's not too hard to get. But this, we have twenty-seven rocket scientists, or I mean, they're they're, they're like yeah. space contractors. So uh, they're they're gonna they'll work for free in the first year, and they'll they'll get the basic designs right. together, and I'll go along and pretend I know what they're talking about, and then um, 
after a year we'll have actually some IP that will be sellable so it's possible to get venture capital after about a year and we should get around about 100 million in if it goes right so oh, yeah so 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 someone so pretend, so I mean, pretend that I'm a child and tell me what IP million, is right? <laughs> intellectual property oh thank you see okay yeah. I understand now thank you yeah Mr. Oh, Chaos uh, is see. staring at me like I'm some sort of an idiot <laughs> <laughs> Oh, meaty chick's looking at the big vibrator. Yeah, she's going to be distracted for a while there. <laughs> but it's it's huge. And actually, it looks like a speaker. I'm so. sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Uh, is it a speaker? It probably is, right? I yeah, mean, if you yeah. essentially, you can create vibrating well, waves with very speakers long, vibrate. low yeah. frequencies. Well, apparently when they turn it on, it's horrendous. So, you know, it starts off really, really low, and then it gets really, really high-pitched. Do you just but walk I'm, in I'm, there with, like, some old, like, Zeppelin LPs and just go, guys, can you just put this on the vibrator, please? I just I just want to, you know, I just want to hear it. I, I reckon you could. I mean, it's like the uh, Douglas Adams thing, right? The rock concert that they had to play on the on the one planet you know and all the audience was on another planet because the rock band was so loud what was the name of that rock band the, the loudest rock band in the universe oh god yeah you know yeah i don't recall the name it was in the hitchhiker's guy i've got a hangover yeah i know god oh oh, oh what are they called oh. yeah, anybody in the chat room know? Something. somebody yeah, know. Come we'll on. find out it's in 20 geek, minutes it's a geek trivia question yeah so you got a hangover. Yeah. Because you're well, hanging you know, out with rocket scientists. <laughs> well, <laughs> like no. I party I'm, all the time, right? No, no. I, I work for Juiced. I'm a director at Juiced. I'm oh, like, Juiced. It, yeah, so Friday, it's Friday evening, and, you know, we got loads of booze lying around the office. So instead of eating food, I started drinking whiskey. Paddy whiskey, actually. So. Oh, whiskey pa- will give you a bad pa- hangover. Paddy whiskey? Yeah. Paddy. paddy. Right. Explain Irish. That. Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey. Okay. Irish whiskey. It's called Paddy. So, it's, so not Jameson's, huh? No, no. But you know, Paddy's all right. Tasty. So. Do you like scotch? So, um, you yeah, scotch sometimes. It, de- it depends. It really depends. Um, mainly wine. So what was that bottle of wine? I never found out. Oh. oh. He, he said earlier, but he's We're, uh, uh, almost empty in front uh, of him now. Crap, so. I need to... No, yeah. Hang on. We need to... Um, Oh, this is a good cue for the drink music, oh, which yeah. I haven't queued up yet. <laughs> so just, uh, you know, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> you can say uh... I'm saying something witty and stuff. Oh. See my wittiness? It's just <laughs> overflowing. Oh, look, it's drink music. Oh, wow. Mr. Chaos, what was that bottle of wine? Yes, you didn't know we had drink music here. And this is, has been an ongoing show feature, by the way. Um, the the bottle of wine is a 2007, so fairly young, Willamette Valley Vineyards, whole cluster fermented Pinot Noir from the Willamette. Oh Valley. wow! Uh, it is, and the and the, I think the point I made earlier when no one was listening and everyone is screwing off in the chat room. <laughs> um, when they were not paying attention to you and the very important things that you had to say. Yeah, is is that um, so? In this last season or the last couple of seasons, Oregon has had cooler, kind of some cooler weather, some hot hot times. But it, 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 the grapes didn't, it, you know, in the earlier um, decade, the uh, <laughs> we had some really hot seasons, so that the the grapes ripen pretty pretty quickly. So you got to get them yeah. off the vine, and you know, high sugar high alcohol you have to kind of deal with that so it was a little bit more moderate so these are a lot more moderate wines so i mean oregon can i've seen oregon pinots that are like 15 percent alcohol which to me is wrong i mean i i yeah. like a burgundy style wine you know so this is 13 percent, a lot better balanced not that huge fruit huge alcohol kind of thing you know and it just seems like in america in cabs pinots you name it, everything just, you know, in the early 2000s just skyrocketed alcohol and fruit and, you know, these fruit bombs, Cabernet, and 
kind of got away from like the French tradition. So I think it's coming back a little bit, which for me, yeah. I like that personally. But doesn't it make a better Pinot when it's a bit cooler? Yes, exactly. That's 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 exactly my point. So yeah. I'm a little more excited about it, although you know the palate has kind of you know people have kind of moved to this you know kind of very fruity high alcohol content i mean they they even have to um like in california they have to employ these uh these centrifuges to actually remove some of the alcohol because they leave the grapes on the vine so late to get just every bit of fruit out of the grapes well you know and once you ferment you're just like you're looking at a very high highly alcoholic wine and so they have some centrifuge process which is kind of controversial to pull some of that alcohol back out of the wine um yet keep that really f- kind of fruity kind of feel so i don't know so that's just what my, do they do with it with the alcohol can we buy them yeah, yeah I, don't know. I was wondering. Was like, can I drink just I mean, that says, part? It seems like it would be kind of like a grappa or something, right? You know. So, wow. So I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of controversial. A lot of the wineries like don't like to talk about that process a lot because it's kind of considered unnatural. But um, I don't know. There, there's been some. There's been some writings lately. Of uh, I know that there's a some pretty well known wine uh, shop down in California, and I think in the Bay Area. And the guy is refusing to sell wines over 13% alcohol now because he's just, it, oh. it's just gotten out of hand. And, you know, then you say, well, what about Italian Amarone or something like that? Well, but that's different because the Amarone is made that way. But a Cab or a Pinot, I, I mean, most Bordeaux's are traditionally, the traditional Bordeaux's like a 12 or 12.5% alcohol, you know. Yeah. So I mean, you have this big fruit bomb. You have one glass of this fruit bomb full of alcohol, and you're just shagged out for the rest of the evening. It's just kind of like hit you in the face. And and I think a bottle. <laughs> I think a bottle of wine, personally, as a wine drinker, is supposed to be enjoyed. You know, several glasses, and you see how it changes over your meal or over several glasses. You know. Yeah. I sound like a total crazy wine. And drinker. you talked through the whole drinking. I have a so friggin' I'm, soapbox no, about wine. I never here. got to tell Media Chick what I was drinking. I think Steve has fallen oh. asleep. No, I haven't. I'm still alive. So. The birds are lulling what him you, into what, a nice nap time. So, what do you like to, uh, as far as wine, what do you like to drink over there? Yeah, I mean, I call it Amarona, but you call it Amaroni. Yeah. I, I really yeah. like. So, is, is there a sort of an equivalent? Over in yes. around Portland. Yeah, yeah, it would be called Amarona <laughs> or Amaroni. No, yeah, we have yeah. Okay. I, I really like that. Gen- generally, it's Shiraz. Um, Shiraz, all the time. right? Yeah. From from Australia. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit of an Australian Shiraz fan. So. We, we actually have um, some pretty good uh, Shiraz um, from, the, uh, from the Columbia Valley up in Washington yeah. State. I yeah, thought you were going to talk about that one Australian Shiraz that I used to really like. Um, God, the name exca- excuse like, me. Like but. a card on the front. Yep. Can't remember. Oh, God. Wild card. Um, um, no, it wasn't a no. wild card. No, no. It was some other card. It was yeah. more like a tarot kind of card. Oh, we'll think about it later. Oh, my Come God. <laughs> oh, so you like the big wines? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Like, uh, after si- go ahead. I was just think- thinking after Sideways did sort of Portland um, Pinot Noir really take off after uh, that film? I don't think so. I mean, I think I no. think it was already kind of. I think it already took off before that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. Um, definitely in the last, you know, eight years, um, the whole uh, Willamette Valley Dundee area has really taken off. I mean, if you if you read like Wine Spectator or something like that, yeah. um, you know, you, there there's some editors there that d- just really cover the whole Willamette Valley Dundee Hills um, area pretty well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and drink some more wine. I was over not long ago. Oh yeah, Northern. yeah, it's great up there. You know, go through the. Go yeah, wine country. Media chick just said yeah. that when Steve comes back, we'll take him to the local vineyards. I would love Ooh. that. Mm-hmm. We haven't been yeah. there on a wine tasting since uh, Cammy and I wine dressed clowns. up as clowns 
With have you ever heard of the <laughs> cacophony society? Have he's you ever so heard of not this? joking. <laughs> it's no. so unfortunate. Anyone that he's in not Portland joking. has heard of the cacophony society? <laughs> Uh, before you know, we got boring, and you know the marriage and the kid thing. Uh, Cammy and I would go out and do some events, and uh, one of them was we rented limos, and everyone dressed up as clowns. And I have a great video I've got to post on YouTube of this. I've got a whole video of. I think there's of a. I think there's a photo of uh, Mike and I in our clown costumes on my MySpace account. If right. anyone wants to see it. And so uh, oh. we went out to uh, Dundee. And just hit all the wineries uh, as these crazy clowns, and you know some of these people were pretty insane. So I'd say I say the two of us were a little bit, you know, a little bit better off, but uh, more but, reserved. Uh, but it was very fun. And I've got clowns. a great. I, I really need to post a, a video of um, of that on YouTube. So I mean, imagine you're you're just you're sitting there with uh, fr- good friends and you're in one of these beautiful wineries in the summer time in Oregon sitting out there having a glass of wine and all of a sudden these limos pull up these limousines pull up <laughs> and the doors open and all these crazy fucking clowns <laughs> run out and start running around the winery going we want wine you know honking and, and you know pulling their pants down and doing all that shit that was pretty much wine clowns Awesome. Some people hated it, and some people had blast. You know, some people thought we were hilarious, and other people just yeah. wanted us to get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah. Well, can we do it again with stretch limos? And can actually, you I stream? Think, can you? I I think they've done do... it like three times since then. So I think it's oh, okay. uh, it's kind of an ongoing thing. Yeah, definitely, definitely, we could do it again. Or we could pick some yeah. other costume theme. <laughs> You know, I don't know the Spaceman. wine borg. What? I mean, Spacemen, wine, space, wine borg, wine, wine yeah. aliens. Yeah, wine I, aliens. You know, now I was a, I was the classic. Uh, is it Emmett Kelly? Yeah, you were the very the Emmett classic Kelly hobo clown. clown. So I don't know. You know, if you see that classic, the hobo clown that was made famous. I think, I think his name was Emmett Kelly with the beard and the. And the <laughs> I had like the old tattered um, tuxedo, tuxedo with the top <gasps> oh, hat. I know. Wine monsters, classic monsters. No, I was just thinking classic wine movie. hobos. I was thinking wine hobos. No. I was thinking we'd all get really dirty, dress in really dirty clothes, bring... Uh, uh, I don't like to be dirty. Bring... Um, like uh, that kind of dirty, sacks, I mean. Right, bring like like paper sacks <laughs> and then go and get like, go to Domain Druin and get like a $50 bottle or $60 bottle of, of oh, wine Lorraine penguins. and then Very stick nice it in teeth. a sack and start drinking it out of the sack. <laughs> I think that would be yeah. awesome, right? Yeah. I'd do a penguin. Yes, yeah, Steve Could suggested waddle, via wad- the chat room. I'm not yeah. monitoring the chat room. No, but I am. Yeah. yeah, wine penguins would work. We could waddle in and take over the place. That would be fun. Oh, Giddy, you know, Giddy said <laughs> mimes aren't funny. And actually, I was, <laughs> Emmett Kelly was the silent clown. So I was actually a mime. I didn't hey, speak. Hey, Giddy, I will time. tell you that I almost smacked him several times during the uh, wine trip because he wouldn't speak. I, I would I not. Got so the whole tired of wine it. clown's experience, I did not speak a word. So I had to do everything in, you know, the clown. Oh. I was really in character, man. Media Chick just did Mondo Croquet. Oh, yes. Mondo Croquet. Very nice. That's awesome. <laughs> They, it's where uh, they use bowling balls instead of croquet balls. Yeah, I've seen and, the pictures. Yeah, it's so exactly fun. same group, same. Yeah, and they do the Santa Cl- Santa Con every year. Yes. Are you familiar with that? No. Thousands and hun- well, hundreds, some places, thousands of Santas emerge upon downtown areas or whatever areas, and you know. Now, wander around the city. They, I think they do this in Amsterdam and other places as well. Around the holidays. oh my god, I know I was in yeah, I was in Copenhagen and and when the holidays started, they had a bunch of guys dress up in Santa suits and bring like the Tuborg um, Christmas beer oh god, around. Yeah. So so I think that's kind of there's there's definitely some European tradition in in the European countries that do this, but but it's a big Portland yeah. thing too in Seattle. Yeah, um, well, I, I lived in in Copenhagen for five years, so I, I know that the Christmas beer and the Easter beer is just too It's too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Coles, that was good. Like, oh, yeah, but it's like twelve percent. So kind of gets when were you there? I what uh, two years ago. I mean, I still years. have a house in Copenhagen. So. Oh, nice. 
Great place. Yeah, but Europe, you know, Europe's small, so it's you know it's only an hour away on a plane. So That's it's true. Just down the road. That's true. It's not like the United States, which is huge. Yeah, it's a, a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, a bungalow for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I long for a bungalow. And a fucking castle. <laughs> Yeah, there's loads of them in France, pretty cheap as well. So. Exactly. Let's get a yeah. castle for everyone, Cammy. A castle each. A castle each. Yeah. So what well, else? You said yes. you had a hangover. Yeah, we yeah, already yeah, discussed yeah, no. his hangover. We did? We totally yeah. did. Oh, was that with the rocket discussion? <laughs> oh, Mr. Chaos, if only you listened to the people that called into the show. <laughs> Listening? <laughs> it's a skill that you have yet to learn, darling. You're pushing a lot of buttons. You are pushing so we, buttons. Yes. We, we did the we done the rockets. I think we did half the hangover. I, I like I got through the whiskey and then I went out to a Thai restaurant and drank loads of wine. So that's oh, the, yeah. the mix this, wasn't wasn't good. Oh no, not a, that. This was the patties thing, right? <laughs> yeah, patties and then a, a load of uh, actually pretty bad cabernet sauvignon on top of that. So. Ooh, where was that from? And the, uh, f- oh. You don't I, I, didn't even, I didn't even look. <laughs> it was so. I mean, it wasn't worth looking at the bottle. It was just like, oh, whatever. That'll do. Lots of hot, spicy food and some of that stuff. So uh, that wasn't good. Really? Yeah. So what do you? Yeah, really. So what do you got planned for uh, your weekend? Party! I'm going to a party oh. this evening. Uh, so. Uh, and that's about it, really. And then I'll be recovering, and then I'll be back at work. Wow. So, uh, so, so nothing, party Saturday, nothing. recover Sunday, back to work by Monday. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe party Sunday and go, down and go back to work on Tuesday. That'd be good. <laughs> oh, wait. But, uh, it's Saturday for you today. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm there already. What, what time? Are you? Oh, you're quarter to 12. Or exactly. What? Yes. Yeah. And I'm bad with time zones often, so. <laughs> yeah, and it's quarter to nine in the morning here, so. Oh, why are you up so early? Because I have the hangover. <laughs> I don't wake up early with a hangover. <laughs> I've woke up at five o'clock with my hangover. Oh my, so. that's, that's painful. Yeah, I know. I've, I've just put the, the wine clown image of uh, Mike and I up on the Strange Love site. I'll. I'll uh, put the link in the chat room so anyone can see it that wants to. Nice. <laughs> so, um, hmm. Well, I'm glad you called in. So, so when you, so you come to Portland a lot, right? <laughs> once I've been there once. Oh, uh, once. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I kind of I've, I seem to know a lot of people in Portland for some. Yeah, reason. you're all over the, like the happened. Twitter. All the people from Portland on Twitter. <laughs> It's like you're like a Portland guy. It's like, where do you live? Northeast or something? Where, where are you from? Yeah. Well, on, on Facebook, apparently, I live in Portland. There you go. No, I did see that. I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I saw that you were a, a Portland person on Facebook, and I, thought, I, I was confused for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It worked. You tricked so me. Good. Yeah, I know, I know. It's okay. Yeah, it's I'm not... Yeah, I might move over. It's sort of, everything's going on. Everything's in Portland. So. Except for rockets. <laughs> we have rockets. bacon, though. Yeah. We, have, we have bacon. And, and bacon. Vidoop. Yeah, I know. And Vidoop. And yeah. The, yeah. This episode of Strange Love brought to you by... Vidoop's Hard Hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's a great place. I mean, there is a lot of things happening around Portland. So, um... Yeah, seems to be. I'm always trying to yeah. get people to move to Portland. Like people I know, people I was friends with, you know, when I was younger that don't live here. I'm always trying to convince them that Portland is really actually where they need to be for some reason. I don't know why I have that need, but I'm just always like, oh, no, but Portland's wonderful. You should come live here, too. Yeah. I don't get it. Any- we have know. wine clowns. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy plants. That's what I was coming in from the airport. Then it's like uh, cranes, uh, cat diesel things, and uh, uh, forklift trucks, strip bar. Uh, then there's sort of like some strip more bar, heavy machinery, bar. strip bar. Strip bar, strip bar, strip uh, bar. 
No, is this Portland? Yeah. 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 I was amazed. Yeah. So many strip bars all over the place. It's and kind I, of heavy, heavy plant and strip bars. I don't yeah. think that I made this up. I think this is actually a real fact. But if I'm not mistaken, Portland has more strip clubs per capita than any other city in the United States. That is supposed oh. to be the, the fact. We have a lot of naked chicks hanging out and some naked guys, too. See, we need yeah. to get Sasha B on Twitter. Do you follow her, Sasha B? Sasha B, no. Yeah, she's, she, she's, she's a local, the local exotic Portland Twitter exotic dancer. Dancer. Chick. Yeah. And she has a site and she's on Twitter. And she's going to do yeah. some presentation at Ignite Portland 3, I guess. Wow. Okay, wow. I sound like I'm really in the know. All I do is just look at my freaking Twitter. That's all I do. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, um, like I saw your pictures of the partying with the rocket scientists. Yeah. yeah. I already knew that. Yeah. I'm, I'm following Sasha B. I just didn't know I was following her. So. Yeah, well, she hasn't Twittered a whole lot. Except yeah. the last time I think she Twittered, she, she had a proposal. Um, look up the uh, Ignite Portland, and she wants to give a presentation on, I don't know, how to be sexy in sexy panties or something. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. I have it was sexy something panties. Like would you like to show us your sexy panties? No, I'd have to go upstairs to get them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so you're wearing grandma panties right now. No, I am not, not wearing... You're not wearing Depends, are you? I'm not wearing grandma panties The show's panties like two right hours now. long, man. This I'm not like, wearing grandma panties. I'm wearing, like I'm wearing program. adequate panties, but just not the sexiest of the sexy panties This is like right the now. space program. We poop in our pants here. We're just on <laughs> all night. Oh, my dear Lord. All night. Speak for yourself, man. And then we just... Uh, you know, throw it over the deck, right? You know, just out and make ice with our pee in the uh, in the confines of space. I don't think Stanley Kubrick actually <laughs> covered that in 2001. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe the alcohol's kicking in. I'm just. Uh, I think just it might here. be. And and ah, God. I happen to I happen to have information that when when we are finished with Steve, which we're not trying to get rid of you, you talk as long as you no, want no, to. No, 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 no. When no. we're done with I Steve, we'll have it. another drunk. We'll have a drunk dialer. And that is Giddy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get the drunk dialer on. Then I well, can you go know back what? To my you, know what you know what I'll do is you can nurse your hangover. Right now, the drunk dialer is a friend of mine from high school. I'll I'll try. Oh. To, yeah. I'm going to try to get her on right now and see. We might be able to conference, but I don't know how this shit works. So I might drop you. If I drop oh. you, I want to say thank you. I'm so glad if that I don't to drop talk you, to you, it's just going to be a big freaking party. I think, yeah, right. I think he wants to curl up in a little ball and be hungover, sweetie. I don't think it's a hangover. I think it's him being with us. We do that yeah. to people. I mean, after you've kind of been with us for a while, you want to curl up in a little ball. And <laughs> yeah. Get well, I want, to go and look at the, I want to look at the PDX rockets, actually. Oh, there we go. We have rockets? Yeah. There's rocketry, yeah. Oh, like the little rockets? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Not like big just, space rockets. We, well, we may not have big vibrators like they have over there in <laughs> Europe. <laughs> Steve's <Yeah>. at. <laughs> yeah. Portland... State Aerospace Society. There we wow. go. There we go. We would need to find Is out it? if they're looking for a PR guy. Yeah. That would work. You know, you could just get these guys over there a uh, hundred million, and then you could go to the Portland State guys and go, look, I got these guys a hundred million. Hook me up. I'll get you a hundred million. Yeah. Yeah, I only want five percent. Yeah, exactly. So uh, now that we're done with that, where's the party? <laughs> I think that should be your pitch. You're in PR. That, that's it. Simple, easy. Yeah, I know. And, You'll and a, get a giant giant vibrator. Exactly. That's uh, part, part of the deal. I would guess that... With every purchase. <laughs> giant vibrator well, with every purchase. I don't know. <laughs> At research levels, I'm assuming a giant vibrator probably costs $100 million. Yeah, it looked like it, actually. Speaking of research dollars, you think CERN's going to just like totally destroy the Earth? <laughs> yeah, it's possible. <laughs> What's up with that, man? I don't know. I mean, like, is every <laughs> let me ask you this. So, so in the United States, I think it's fair yeah. to say that we have a few people who probably aren't as well versed in the sciences as most, <laughs> right? Yeah. I would yeah. wager to say. What are you talking about? In other countries, <laughs> in other Western developed countries, there are more people per capita. <laughs> Uh, who, who are a little more well-versed in the scientists, sciences 
than uh, some of our folks in the United States. Uh, so, so my, so, so I've noticed that this thing keeps bubbling up about CERN and um, and the super super ha- how do you say it super how ha- I like collider. Yeah. Anyway, the super collider. Uh, Steve's looking it up for me right now. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, and um, is is anyone concerned about that over in Europe, or are you just like drinking beer, going, ah, fuck all, we don't care, <laughs> it'll be awesome. We're, we're, we got we got Belgian beer here, so no one feels anything at all. I mean, if the if oh, that's the beautiful. World world blew up. It just wouldn't really matter that much. See, and this is why a great you know, multi-party Western democracy that has uh, lots of religious holidays and no one goes to church works in this world in the 21st century. Thank yeah. you very much. Why can't we have more life. religious holidays? <laughs> exactly. We don't, we don't go to church. We should get the <laughs> exactly. religious holidays. That's not fair to me. Exactly. I work yeah. hard not going to church. Um, yeah, so nobody gives a shit, right? It's like, it's like, yeah, fire it up. Let's see what happens, right? Yeah. That's kind of my large. attitude. Yeah, Large Hadron Collider, and it's yeah. your safety concerns down here, and so there's you. a big red, the Hadron red thing. Collider. Yeah, yeah, and it's like a, I don't know how much money yeah. that thing costs. A hundred million yeah. dollars. Uh, it's more than a hundred million, believe me, way more yeah. than a hundred million. Yeah, I just like to say a oh. hundred million. You need dollars. to work. You need to work <laughs> PR for those guys. Oh wow! It can it might accidentally produce micro black holes, micro black holes. No, it will. And I think it will. And stra- what strangelets it can produce. Oh, strangelets. I don't know. Oh, hey. It sounds like it's... <laughs> Welcome to Strange Love, home of the strangelets. Yeah. It sounds like a child that Mike and I would have. No, it sounds like our backup yeah. band. Oh. It's Kevin Chaos yeah, it's... and the on the drums, the strangelets. Yeah, okay. So it says, these include the production of micro black holes and strangelets, potentially resulting in a doomsday scenario. But, you know, flip the switch on. Exactly. See if it works. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh. Drink your Belgian beer, flip the switch on, and see what the fuck happens. <laughs> oh, this is how we do. This is how we do ooh, things. Oh my god! Oh okay. dear, there's a bunch of strangelets coming out of the machine. <laughs> I have the information on what a strangelet is. Yeah, a strangelet or a strange nugget is a hypoth- hypothetical. I've been drinking kava. A hypothetical yeah. object consisting of a bound state of roughly equal numbers of up, down, and strange quarks. Oh. Uh, in, in, in last week, in last week, you talked about the cock ring in Seattle. So, yeah, last week we were discussing cock rings, and we found out that our our guest was diabetic, and apparently diabetics cannot use cock rings. Wow! In Seattle or something? No, the Seattle thing had nothing to do with okay, it. Okay, now now read the strangelet thing in a sexy voice. A strangelet or strange nugget is a hypothetical object consisting of a bound state of roughly equal numbers of up, down, and strange quarks. There's more. I could continue to read it. So it's a quark. Yeah. I think I've actually read about this before. The size yeah. could be anything from a few... Okay, what the hell is a f- femtometer? Femtometer. <laughs> femtometer. What's a femtometer? Just make it, it says up. That. Just say a it's, few inches to a few a feet. femtometer. <laughs> A, what the hell is a femtometer? To uh, something much larger. Oh my god, is it from a femtometer or something much larger? What the hell is larger than a femtometer? What's smaller than a femtometer? Next week on Strange Love, we will have a, a a nuclear physicist on, and he can explain all this, or she can explain all this to us. Next, Nate's not a nuclear physicist. No, we're gonna bump him. We're bumping Nate. Yeah. I already bumped. We're Nate. gonna have Stephen Hawking. I bumped Nate already. No, we look, can't look, bump look, look, look. The next guests are the Queen, uh-huh. with her Tupperware with a cheese sandwich in it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Stephen Hawking. Uh huh. And uh, who was the other person? I can't remember. Um, Probably somebody from the dead or something. I don't know. Elvis or something. I don't know. Wow. I think we've lost oh. Steve. No, no, I'm reading about the dangers of strangelets. It's they're quite <laughs> nasty. They are. So. Hey, hey, Steve. Uh. Hey, Fuck. let's not talk about the dangers of strangers. Let's talk about the dangers of strange love, my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, well, you should just copy this, do a search and replace. You know, just change the strange lit to strange love, and then it's a blog post. Exactly. You've got it. Mm, there you go. I might have to. Yeah. That could be lovely. Yeah. So, 
a strange love is a strange nugget. <laughs> you know, it sounds sounds right. You know, that's it right. Fits in. Yeah. Strange nugget. Yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by Treasure Licious. <laughs> is that where you put your strange nuggets? Exactly. Yeah, I treasure my strange nuggets. I put them up, and I oh. I know. I don't know where Miss Burroughs is. We've all been wondering, but I know she's near a computer because she just sent me a long and involved email that I can't read right now because I'm on the air. Okay. Uh-huh. But uh, she's about to be in trouble for not listening. Well, let's see if we can get... Uh, let's try and see what happens if we get Giddy in here. Yeah, get Giddy. So hang, hang on. Maybe we can... Yeah. Maybe we can do this. I and think. she's never used Skype before, so, so be gentle all, with her. She's a Skype virgin. Steve on hold and initiate... Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put all you right. on hold and let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. Hello. Oh, that's such a horrible noise. But we love it, so... Oh. I assume we're still streaming live, right? Mm-hmm. No, I think she went to pee. No, she went to pee earlier. Okay. It's hurting my ears. Giddy, answer. You're hurting me. There you are. Yeah. Hi. Hi, baby. Gosh. Hey. Oh, my dear Lord. Remember when I said I didn't care that you didn't have headphones? I, yeah. Oh, that's better. It's bad. Yeah, I can but... sit closer. No, I, it's, it's a cheap, cheap microphone. Oh, it didn't I work, then. No, it did work. Or did it work? You're it on. It did. Oh. Yeah, a bunch of so where's Giddy? Giddy's here. Say hi, Giddy. Hi, Giddy. Yeah, okay, now say hi to everybody else, sweetie. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so so oh, so I think Giddy, you need to turn down your UStream. Yes. Okay. Oh God, I I feel like a, I feel like Larry <laughs> King. Caller, could you please turn down the radio? Yes, I can hear. I can Caller, hear I can Steve. hear the radio still. Can you please turn I, down your radio? I'm a total virgin. I don't know how this works. You are a virgin. That's hot. I, I, no, it's not hot. Actually, I don't. I don't think virgins are hot. Like to, like somebody who knows what they're doing. What about you, Steve? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Virgins what are someone me? who knows what they're doing. Um, uh, go for the know what they're doing. I think exactly. Yeah. That was the right answer, babe. So oh, okay, both good. of you, yeah, good answer. Yeah. So, Giddy, do you know what a strangelet is? No, I don't. Steve, would you like to explain what a strangelet is to <clears throat> Giddy? Um, well, it's like strange love. But you know they're very. It's very dangerous. It's. Um, I think there's. It's composed of. It might be a strange nugget as well. But if yes. it, if it meets normal matter, you know, it, things can go badly it wrong. Could be, badly, it badly could be wrong. anywhere from okay, enough with from a few stuff. photometers yeah. <laughs> to much yeah. larger. Yeah. I don't think I'm hearing Steve. You can't hear Steve. I, I don't think I, I can't can. hear Giddy. So it's very interesting. Oh, that's We're gonna interesting. Have this, this Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, wow! Huh? Okay, is that on my end? That is interesting. No, it's really cool. That's so. so funny. So Giddy could totally say horrible, nasty things about you, Steve, and you wouldn't know. No, I'll just be the. Oh, thank I you very am. much. And I know her. She probably is. She's. <laughs> she says a lot of mean, horrible things. Uh, I can say nice things about I her. She's pretty sexy, that kid. She's a sexy lady, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, now she's just giggling, so. Well, I'm going to eat another drink if I'm going to keep talking. They seriously can't hear each other? No, they seriously can't hear each other. I mean, because so it sounds awesome. like they can hear each other. No, it's so yeah. okay, awesome. Now, I love I'm this. I'm going to push this button, and this might be yeah. just like the Super Hadron Collider. And yeah. and life may come to an <laughs> life end is as we know it. Over. With all those strangelets, I'm gonna push this button on the board. Okay, push the button. If it doesn't work, you have a nice butt, Mr. I will, Chaos. I will uh, <laughs> not push the button. But all I can see, see right now is Mr. Chaos bent over his soundboard. Okay, now can everyone hear each other? Can you hear each other? Hello. Hello. Oh, oh wait, yeah. not for me. Can you guys hear each other? Yeah, there's a bit of an echo. Right. Yeah. But you can hear each other. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, we'll just try and ignore the echo. Echo, echo, echo. 
Um, wow, I'm trying to eat chocolate and it's melting on my finger. That's no good. Okay, so... Uh, wow. All conversation has come to a standstill. Yeah, now that <laughs> everyone can hear each other. It's just the strange echo. <laughs> so, Giddy, would you like to tell everyone how we know each other? I don't even really know. I, I think we know each other because you were friends with my brother in high school. Mm. And in junior high school. And I was And I was friends with your brother, but really, you and I ended up being better friends than... You know. <laughs> I adore Either, you. So. Oh no, someone's gone. Who's gone? I'm still here. Everyone's there. I hear Steve, I don't hear Giddy. And I hear birds. Giddy, are you gone? I'm here. I didn't oh. I don't hear Steve anymore. Oh, she can't hear Steve anymore. I'm here. He's there. Yeah. They've, and the been, birds. they've been separated. Yeah, I hear the birds still. Hello, birdies. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. I should stop. I, I should stop drinking now is what I should say. Why? Because no. I'm talking to the birds. <laughs> Keep drinking. <laughs> it's sad. When I start talking to to guests' birds, it, it's just, uh, it's sad. Okay, so uh, what do you got? What do you got, uh, uh What's going on there, Giddy? Are you hanging out with rocket scientists? Anything? Anything? <laughs> no. I, actually, I have... It's really weird. I have two friends that are rocket scientists, and they're both named Steve. There you go. And and so now I know a third Steve that's apparently a rocket scientist. No, he's not a rocket scientist. Yeah, no, close enough. I want to be. I mean, really... I will be. <laughs> Who's going to argue the difference? Exactly. I am, damn it. He hangs out with the rocket scientist. He tells people. He hangs out with the rocket I'm Steve. All right. All right. I'm with so the rocket scientist. He's like the rocket scientist drummer, right? It's the joke of, you know, who's the guy who hangs out with the band? The drummer. Right, the drummer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bum bum bum. Thank you very much. What's the drummer do? Huh. Drummer. Drummer. Okay. Uh, a drummer. So what else it's is going on? It's a very familiar on? word, drummer. What was the last thing you... Uh, w- w- you went somewhere, right? Giddy, you did something, you went somewhere. I went somewhere. <laughs> you did something, you went somewhere, you lived part of a life doing something. Help yeah, us out I was, here. I, I lived a life and I did stuff, and but you know, now I'm done. So All fine. right, good, 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 good. <laughs> nice, nice. Where were you I, referring to her having gone? I don't know, somewhere that I read you on Twitter on that Twittery thing. Her, her internet went down for a couple of days. No, this was a few <laughs> weeks ago. She went to a fair. That's what I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. Bingo! We have a winner. Where she had <laughs> lots of big boobies. There oh. were big boobies involved. Actually, occurring organic acid in the human body. So although it also presents in foods like poultry, fish, and scallops. Mm. So essentially, we're um, <laughs> we're 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 sending you a drink with a bunch of bulls that jizzed in it for your enjoyment because we're Americans. It's like have a nice day. Yeah, we still haven't gotten over the whole war thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's there's bloody Europeans. Exactly. Some, we'll get rid of our bull sperm over there. Exactly, because we've just got we've got it everywhere. You know, we're just like. Where are we going to put the bull spur? The bulls are jizzing all over our floors. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> We've got to do something with it. I've got an idea. We'll we really like to, to recycle. The yeah, we'll call it Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> bull spur. Let's yeah. get to dial up that PR guy, uh, Steve. Yeah. $100 million, Steve. Yeah. 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 I have to put it on a giant vibrator. That's the only way. <laughs> exactly. Get the giant vibrator and put a good spin on Red Bull. See if you can get people to drink it. <laughs> yeah. So, Giddy, where do, where do you stand on the bull sperm? <laughs> where do I stand on what? I'm on, sorry. On the bull sperm. Bull sperm. sperm. Bull sperm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Really? Yeah, sorry. I was refilling my drink. I walked away for a second. But, you know, I'm as far as bull sperm goes... I, you know, I try to avoid it. I'm trying to cut down, be a little more healthy. 
Well, that that's that's a good idea. That's fair. What did she say? What did she say? She, she said, said she's, she's trying, trying to, cut, to down cut down because she's trying oh, to be healthier. Because okay. <laughs> you you can't avoid it here. We've got it everywhere. No, it's, it's in fucking everything. It's in everything. It's so like whipped cream, cream exactly. You know. Yeah, it's, it's in whipped cream. It's in it's in um, you know cheddar cheese, um, Pepsi, not in Jerry Coke, only in Pepsi. <laughs> Not um, a cherry coke. Nice. And we're, Good call. And, <laughs> Thank you. And we're all stronger, faster, and better for it, by the way. Except for me, because I only drink the cherry coke. I'm slower and don't have any bull sperm in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not in whiskey. Oh God. Or well, red oh wine. God. If it was in whiskey, then, then the alcohol content would kill it, so. Yay. <laughs> I feel so much better now. I should not be allowed to speak to people. No, that's just sad. Oh, um, maybe yeah. sometimes. Maybe occasionally. I, I so speak. wish I could hear Steve. I know it would be much funnier if you guys could hear each that, other. Yeah, that's weird. I, th- yeah. I, th- I pushed. I pushed the uh, hadron collider button, and uh, <laughs> nothing happened. Which is exactly, by the way, what's going to happen when they fire that thing up. It's Nothing. not going to be the end of the earth. It's going to be like... Um, it's going to be like billions and trillions of dollars down like the freaking toilet. It's going to be like, oh, nothing happened. It'll be like hey, Y2K all over again. As long as the vibrator and the thruster work, we're fine. I can't wait, actually. You can't, so you can't some... wait for the vibrator to work? No, no. The there was something about a vibrator collider. and a thruster earlier. We're going to have to get a lot of Belgian beer, though, before yeah. it happens, just in case something happens or and something towel. goes wrong. You need you need beer and a towel. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. God. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid that I just did something silly. <laughs> Which is? I looked at the clock. And here I was going to restart the stream. Mm, no, when I saw the clock, my brain went, "Holy cow! Please go to bed." Well, we kind of got a late start. I think everyone jumped on, and then. Uh, was like wondering where the hell we were and I put out wine and cheese for everybody. Did mm-hmm. you all see the wine and cheese? And yeah. I enjoyed the wine. There you go. Did you enjoy the sure. cheese? We had some nice manchego. Uh, yeah. It looked beautiful. Yeah. Yes. But I was not eating cheese, I was drinking wine. I understand. Oh what kind of wine <laughs> oh, wait a minute, what kind of wine are you drinking, Giddy? I I don't even want to admit it. I was drinking two buck chuck, which I never do, two but buck I did buck chuck. The glory of two buck check. It, it it's bad, but it's cheap. So we have. So this is for Steve. We have these uh, uh, supermarkets called Trader Joe's. Yeah. In the U.S. and I, I don't know if and and they have this 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 wine that they sell really cheap. Called Charles Shaw. Called Charles Shaw. It's, yeah. It's, so the nickname is two buck Chuck. Because it's super oh. cheap. So it's like two or three dollars oh. a, a bottle, something like that. But I think it's four dollars. But is it good? Mm-mm. Does it taste? No. Oh, no. Oh, well. it, you know, it's. Uh, you could make for, sangria out of it. For a two dollar mm. bottle of wine, it's fine as long as you don't mind the headache. Exactly. Yeah, I mind the headache. She says it's for a two dollar bottle of wine, it's fine as long as you don't mind the headache. Unfortunately, I mind the headache. Ah, uh, okay. Two dollars. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah, like you, you could buy like cases and cases and cases. You'd swim in it. You could. Now you got you have the euro where you're at, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah euro. Gosh. Yeah. It's, it's oh, it is old. so it's so it's tempting to turn the volume up on the stream so I can hear Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can just you can just listen to the uh, the um, the recording later. Oh. Mm. Um, I just don't interrupt him. Well, he, you know, you either interrupt him or there's birds or something. And the birds are kind of <laughs> nice, actually. We don't have to play music. We just have the birds in the background. <laughs> um, yeah. So two buck Chuck. So you could, you know, screw it. You don't have to. You don't have to buy cases of wine. You could just buy Trader Joe's when you come over here <laughs> with your euros. Oh yeah, you can yeah. just buy the entire store and all of their Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> yes, they do. They all wear Hawaiian shirts. Do you like? That's well, obviously. Yeah. So what else have we got? Anything? Anything? Um, 
Anything um, interesting in the news? You got anything, Giddy? No, I was I was apparently going to be forced to go see the Sex and the City movie this weekend, but since I have my kid all weekend, I can't go to the movies. Gosh darn! Oh, so. poor you. Gosh, that uh, sounds familiar. I know. It it almost brought a tear to my eye, but yay! Oh, oh everyone say hi to Spike. Hey, hey Spike. Spike. Sorry, he got right up in the microphone there, didn't he? Um, ouch. Oh, sorry. I was just trampled by a cat. So what about you, Steve? Anything else on your mind? Anything uh, just really making you... Uh, it's pretty pretty blank now. I think I've, I've talked about everything, so... Nice. I, I think we've forced yeah. everyone to empty their mind, and I think that my brain has gone completely numb. And I think maybe it might possibly be time to say good night to everybody. All right. Mm. Uh, if I can or get good my morning sh- to shit Steve. together and, and yeah. pull up the tunes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, this has been an interesting. Uh, it was interesting when we got people to come talk to us. Exactly. <laughs> and if you have a hundred million dollars, anyone, then. Um, um, accepting uh, donations. And yes, yes. As we said before, Steve's looking for a hundred million dollars. It's very important. Can I, can I say a hundred million dollars out loud and just feel it roll off my tongue? Yeah, isn't it feel nice to say? Giddy's enjoying saying a hundred million dollars. Go ahead, Giddy. Oh, okay. A hundred million dollars. Oh my gosh, it's nice. One hundred million dollars. So I, I have to say, it's kind of sad that I work for a company that. Don't Actually spoil it for us. Sinks so much it. more than that into certain <laughs> R&D activities. Yeah, it's you're spoiling the thrill of saying $100 million. What a little That's Life. Do you like That's Life? Yeah, I like That's Do you Life. you like that tune? Why don't we bring up a uh, pimp, the, pimp Out the... This uh, is another a little promo for, yeah. uh, for uh, the show on Sunday. This is uh, Mr. Chaos... And John Bross. That's right. You like the blues? All right. Why don't you take us out, Cammy Chaos? This has been another edition of Strange Love After Hours. Thanks to everyone who sat in the chat room and waited for like 45 minutes while we got our act together. Thanks to everyone who stayed in the chat room and listened to us talk about giant vibrators with Steve. From space. From giant vibrators from space. Thank you, Steve and Giddy, for joining us. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope everyone either sleeps well or has a lovely day because they're just starting it. That's like. Good night, everybody. Good night. That's what Good night. Good night. You can be flying high in April, shot down in May. I ain't gonna let it get me down as long as this big old world keeps us spinning round. Don't you know that's life?